Libra, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you may be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Now, what we see here is that there is some internal changes that are going on, some internal mind shift, mindset shifts, realizing the need to detach from those around you so that you can create the world that you are absolutely looking for. Now, remember, right, when we have this three of cups in reverse, it is spirit's message reminding you and just validating that if this is the truth for you, this is your case where you're just feeling like you'd like to detach, you're just feeling like you would just like to be in your own energy, that is the guidance from spirit, right? That is your inner knowing, that is the truth flowing through you, right? As we know, we have the ability to create the life we want. We just have to tune in to where the energies are guiding us and where the energies are pointing us. That is how magic flows through us and how magic works through us. But if we are disconnected from our energy bodies, we are upstairs thinking instead of feeling, not feeling our emotions because emotions are not real, thoughts are not real, but the energy of what we feel is very real, right? And the energy of joy is what you would like to connect with the most. And sometimes we feel very joyful when we are called to detach and that is a wonderful thing and we do encourage all of you to do that at this time so that you can detach from your outer world your conditioning so that you can regain strength with your soul you can regain that connection to your true soul self okay your higher self you're being guided you're being absolutely guided to new beginnings new adventures new opportunities currently at this time you are becoming primed and ready and prepared they are the universe is oh like uh, hmm you know, getting you ready, right? And we have this visual of like, oh, you know, like a pretty woman, pretty woman when Julia Roberts is getting all like dolled up, it's kind of like this, right? You're getting all ready. You're getting ready for what comes next, you know? So this is that time in your life. So you're gonna wanna spend more time with your own energy because when you're with your own energy, you're also present with the energy of your angels, of your spirit guides who are, again, assisting you getting ready. And so when you are in this energy with just you and just them, you are able to better hear, understand, and clarify exactly the upgrade you're looking for your life to turn into. Now, we're asking you to, again, increase the standard of the way that you are currently living, but this will only be made possible when you are in that state of grounded energy. You will not feel grounded, beautiful soul, if you are bombarded with stimulation of so many different people and things and places and must do's. And we understand it is the time of the season where that is exactly what is happening. But this is your time in your life of your performance personal spiritual transformation, your soul transformation, where you're being called to take some space for yourself and ground your energies. This will serve you better, we promise you, than getting to the malls on a busy weekend and buying presents that nobody's going to use in a week. All right? We're, we're not going to sugarcoat nothing here anymore. All right? So drink tea, ground yourself. Drinking tea is the insinuation of having a bit of a ceremony with yourself where you give back to yourself, right? At least do this in the morning. And of course, we understand. We've got to go out. We've got to, you know, do the Christmas things. Um, but at the end of the day, at least in the beginning of the day, give yourself this sort of time with yourself. And it's much easier when we're not super stimulated. Mind you, we're all at different places in our lives. So if you are feeling like the caffeine benefits you, which I have in my life most certainly at certain times, then you go ahead and do what you're called to do. But if you again find that caffeine is no longer serving you, answer that call. It's the same thing with anything else in life, right? Right now we feel beautiful soul. This is the time where you really have to understand what you are looking for in your life. And with this eight of cups energy, really recognizing what you must walk away from, what you're being called to walk away from. Okay. This is a very important message here. This, the energy is very, very significant in your life right now, because the more you say no, and you walk away from those things that are no longer serving you right now, that's when you open up the doors to your truest possibility ever created. And if you have something that's lingering in your life right now energetically that hasn't quite evolved or manifested to the position or to the upgrade that you've been looking for, 
that's your cue. That's your cue that you've got to let it go because it's just an illusion of your mind that you're keeping it active. It's just an illusion that it's that thing. Now, it doesn't mean, for instance, that you have a nine to five and you're like, I knew I had to walk away from this. This is toxic. Totally understand. But there's an organic transformational process. And as we focus more on the things we'd like to expand, very, very organically, the things we no longer resonate with start to move away from us, right? It's all about just moving the energy. We cannot, we cannot, uh, you know, we, it, it's, it's never created or destroyed. It's always moved. So we don't want to fixate on the things that we dislike because that will just keep us in this very disappointed kind of an energy, very, the sadness, this feeling like we have no hope, like we cannot change things, but we have the ability to change things. We just have to focus on the things we want to change and then allow the natural organic transformational process to take us there. That's why we want you to focus merely, merely, merely on where your energetic guidance is leading you. And that's the only thing that matters. And again, if you're just feeling this call to break free, to break away from the social realms, from any energies, even if they are close to you, just having some space for yourself, you follow that guidance. You, if you resonate with that, then you take that because it's a very, very important step in our spiritual transformation process to heed that call because it allows us to regroup and to really be able to connect with where we're being guided, which is difficult sometimes. And we see that the coyote spirit is active. So a divine detour is where the universe changes up the energy flow and points us in a different direction than what we originally thought we were going to be doing. So if we're not really connected to ourselves, this new energetic flow that we're being guided and nudged towards is going to seem very unrealistic or very challenging or very confusing for us. We're not going to understand it. We're not going to know why we're being guided towards this entire new path. And we may neglect heeding that call, right? We may neglect moving forward with that, with that feeling we feel not trusting in it, you see. And so that's why we encourage you at this time to really break free of any energies that may be feeling, you may be feeling bound by that would be taking you away from the clarity that you are looking to obtain at this time. Queen of Swords is active to let you know that you are going to feel the most clear and the most connected and the most yourself when you are with yourself with no other distractions and simplifying your life to the fullest. When you simplify, you are able to rebuild. When you simplify, you are able to rebuild. That's a very important message we want you all to connect with. So a lot of the times we keep our lives very full because we feel like the more full and the more things we're doing, it validates a part of us that needs to feel worthy. Beautiful soul, you are already pure and perfect and your natural spirit is already the abundant being you are looking to be. You don't have to seek it or, or include more or any of that. If anything, you're gonna wanna take away to be able to feel yourself more, right? So that's why when we take away, the, the when we remove ourselves from the energies of the social gatherings and the to-dos and the this, that, and the next thing, and we're just with ourselves in this energetic state of, of ease or peace, or bliss or satisfaction just with ourselves, we are able to better connect. When we have our focus in too many different places, we are dispersing our energy in too many different places. And as we know, being energy beings, we're gonna feel that. We're gonna feel when the energy is all over the place because we're thinking about this thing and this thing and this thing, and we're moving the energy as we are thinking about these things. That's why a lot of us live a life very uh, overwhelmed, very lost, and as a matter of fact, very ungrounded because our thoughts are just in too many different places. So we're moving all this energy as if we're like on a, a surfboard and we're just on this wave and we're, what are we doing here, right? We wanna glide, we wanna glide. And that comes when we're focused on our knees being bent, our body being loose, and we're focusing on where we're going, right? If you have any, you have read, rode a horse or a motorcycle, you would understand this because you look where you're going. If you look, to your side, the horse is going to go there. The motorcycle is going to go there, right? I would imagine it's the same thing uh, as a surfboard, but I'm not familiar. I'm not experienced in that. Um, if you are, write down in the comments below. But if you have ever rode a horse or a motorcycle, where you look is where that 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 energy goes, right? So seek out the joy because then that is where you will be guided, right? Wherever there is joy in your life, that's where you're going to want to focus. That's, that's going to be the natural guidance system, right? But whatever time you look at something that you don't want to expand in your life, again, that's the energy is going to move in that direction. So you have to discern, right? That's what it is to utilize the divine feminine energy of intuition, discern between does this benefit my life and does this choice guide me into the person I want to become? Or am I making a decision here that is so far removed from who I want to be 
I, I got to look at that, you know? And when we start to ch change up our lives and, and implement those changes, that's when we start to move the energy into the direction of our fairy tale life. Now, your angel message for today is the message of joy. This is a beautiful message, and we're going to read this to you now. Joy is the highest energy of all. It's the magical sense that everything is possible. Joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at their highest possible levels. Seek out the joy and let spirit guide you through this one. Libra, get, trust me, you don't have to do this alone. It's much better, time much better spent when you spend it connecting to who you are, your true self, your spirit guides, your angels, and allowing the natural transformation to unfold in your life. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.